Researchers at the University of Utah Department of Psychiatry are hoping people who stutter severely can bring their disorder under control with a new medication. The Mood Disorder Clinic is looking for volunteers to test the new drug in a nationwide third phase clinical trial. More on the story from Ed Yates. James Angel is a computer systems administrator for the University of Utah College of Engineering. Stuttering has been an issue his whole life. He's been screened for this clinical trial and is awaiting final word now to see if he's eligible for the study. If this works, even if it helps, helps just a small bit, this will be a fantastic change. It drops to a level where it's no longer socially embarrassing to them that they can, they will st the stuttering will still be there a little bit, but at a much reduced level. Speaking out and about anywhere would no longer be an issue for these folks who worry whether the next phrase or word might trigger a severe stuttering episode. I find if I'm in, in, a, in a, a, um, a place which is, say, perhaps new, um, strangely enough, it'll be actually better at first, and then, and then it will become worse. It's, 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 um, it's kind of um, of an, of an unpredictable thing. Imagine, James says, meeting an old acquaintance, not worrying about what they're thinking. Even if it's a, if it's a, if it's a, a person that that I have I have known for years. If we're talking, I've I always have that have that thought in the in the back of my head. Is this annoying them? You know, so just to not not have that fear would be such a dramatic change. If approved, this experimental drug could prove significant since stuttering currently affects an estimated three million people in this country. At Yates, Salt Lake City.